Hi, welcome back. So today we're going to take a look at migrating assets from one Unreal Engine project into another. It's actually pretty simple. I made a video, I uh, covered this in the past, but that was part of a much larger lesson for one of my classes. And I think uh, just getting straight to the point of how to migrate assets is probably something that people want to see. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at that real quick. Um, so first thing is I have a project already set up that uh, is right here. I'm going to migrate this entire level. You can do this with uh, other assets as well. And I'll show you that process as we talk through this one uh, real quick as well. So the first thing is we need to have our project that we're going to migrate from open. The other thing is, is we need to have a second project already set up. So even if it's empty, um, you need to have a project for this to actually migrate into for their folders. Right now, I don't have a project that I have uh, set up. So I'm going to go ahead and just in case you forgot real quick, but I'm sure you've already done this. You just go to your games, of course, next. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in a third person and I'm going to say next. Leave all of this. I'm going to go ahead and put it into my default location and then I'm going to go ahead and name it. Um, migrating, migrating, no spaces, demo. We'll just call it that, be good, create the project. Remember where you put it because um, if you don't, you're gonna have to go looking for it. And it'll take just a second for it to create that. But while it's creating it, let's go ahead and take a look at what we're gonna migrate. So I have this level here and let's get rid of those. All right, so my level, I'm gonna go into my content browser. I'm gonna find where my levels are since I'm gonna go ahead and uh, migrate this entire level. Let's see here. Probably there's one called Maps. All right, so my third person project is open here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and find this level, which is level three. I'm going to right click on it. And so you right click on it onto the asset itself, go to Asset Actions, and find Migrate right here. Okay. You also note that there's an option for exporting, okay? Exporting allows you to uh, also um, export. And hopefully my head's not in the way here. Let me go ahead and hide myself. All these windows popping up. All right, so again, right here, right click. And we're gonna go ahead and just uh, asset actions. We're gonna migrate, click on migrate. And everything in that level is currently checked, okay? Now, if you're gonna pick an individual asset, this is where you need to come in and unselect the things that you don't want to have transferred over, okay? So you gotta make sure you're paying attention to that. Um, but if you want everything to go, you can do that as well. In this case, uh, all this is is just my level with uh, some of the particular um, assets for making the textures are on here. So this is all I wanna have go over. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay. And then it's gonna ask me where I wanna put it. Now, remember, I put mine in my D drive my Unreal Engine projects. And this one was called my migrating demo right here. And we wanna put it in the content folder, okay? It needs to go in the content folder, things may break. The other thing, um, before I actually do this, now that I think about it, if I take a look at this scene here, I have a water uh, asset in here. I use the water plugin. So anything that you have on your uh, world that you want to have transferred as far as some of these plugins you need to make sure you have those plugins set up too okay and this one currently doesn't i'm going to go ahead and um, if i migrate it this level will not be able to be transferred so let's go ahead and just put that plugin in real quick so we're going to go to edit i'm going to go to plugins type in water okay and this is the plugin i'm using We have to restart that level real quick. It'll open up in just a second here. All right, so there it is, pop back open. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. So I have that water plugin into here as well. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit save, uh, select folder. It migrated successfully. I'm gonna go to my content browser, into my content folder. And here's the one called Maps. This is my level three. I'm gonna double click on that to open it up. 
And here we go. We have a successful migration of one world into the next, okay? To include the water feature. And that's uh, pretty much how you migrate. I'm gonna do one more real quick things just to kind of show you again what you need to do if you're just gonna to wanna to migrate one single asset, okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, migrate an object. Uh, and let's go back to content folder. And I'm actually going to do something like a blueprint, okay? And then I'm gonna select a pickup and I have this blueprint pickup right here. I'm gonna right click on it, asset actions, migrate, okay? <clears throat> and this is what I'm talking about. When you take a look at all of the additional stuff that's included here, I don't need all this. All I want is my blueprint for my health pickup, okay? So one of the things we need to do, I do need the blueprint folder, but I don't need any of the other blueprints that are in that blueprint folder. I do need my pickups. I don't need my characters. Okay, and if I go through all of this, Hopefully that was the last of it that I needed to uncheck. Oh, nope, I got some effects I don't want to take over. Fonts, materials. Okay, and now, um, Let's go ahead and take a look. I think that's everything unchecked except for the top folder that I do need to have, which for this one are my blueprints folder. And then everything else has been unchecked except for the pickups that I want to transfer over. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say okay. Again, I'm gonna pick my content folder for where it's gonna go. I'm gonna select it. And now if I open up the other project, All right, where'd you go? Oh, it's here right in front of me. Wow, okay. So let's go ahead and go to content. If I go to my folders now, you'll see I have blueprints, just my pickup, and here is my health pickup right there. And, oh, it's gonna be a bad, bad blueprint because I got a lot of other stuff attached to it that I need. But, um, yeah. Oh, I didn't bring over any of the models that support it apparently. So that's odd, it should be there. Okay, and this is probably not the best demo, but uh, as you can see, when you do migrate things over, there are other things that it's connected to. And in this case, because it's part of the much larger game, there are some nodes that did not get brought over along with it. So when you're doing these type of things, as I've just demonstrated, you need to make sure that uh, you take a look um, for what else that uh, particular asset is connected to. You can bring the asset over, the blueprints are here, and if you're gonna repurpose it, you just need to go in and change out the nodes for the correct characters or whatever it is you're gonna use it for. Because apparently, this one's not working because these are all actually attached to my character node because this is connected to uh, refilling her health. So again, um, those are some things you need to think about. And other assets will come over easier if they're just the base models and uh, things like um, if I had just brought over that model by itself right here, it would have worked out uh, just fine. All right. so. I think that is um, everything about this. Real quick uh, demonstration on how to migrate materials. Some things you need to think about when you are migrating them. Um, make sure you pay attention to that. It's not gonna work out 100% perfect every single time. Um, and you can also migrate entire game levels if you wanted to. So that game that is here, if I wanted to migrate the game level, it would have brought everything over everything would have functioned properly. Uh, you may have to do some minor fixes throughout it um, because there may be some things tied to a previous landscape or some things you didn't bring over. But those are just some things you gotta think about. But migrating is pretty easy. Uh, you can also, as I said before, you can go in here, you can also export. 
and you can pick to choose them as an export for an FBX if you wanted to take the model out of this particular game and put it into something else as well. You can even put it into something like Maya or Blender and uh, make some adjustments, change it around a little bit, and then put it back into the game. So just some things to think about. Okay, I guess that's uh, pretty much it for this demonstration. Again, um, if you liked what you saw, please like my video and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Putting on the Fritz 3D Visualization. And I will see you next time.